OK, so far we've looked at assigning commands in Logic to keys on the QWERTY keyboard, hence key commands. But you can also assign those commands to MIDI controllers, and I'm going to show you that now. Now I'll just put my camera in to record. Over here is a Behringer UMA25S that I'm in the process of reviewing, and it's got transport buttons, look. There they are. Okay, now I'm going to assign those transport buttons to the transport commands in Logic. And you can you can do this with your MIDI controller or MIDI keyboard. You can assign anything MIDI controller wise, even actual MIDI keys to commands in Logic. And I'll show you that now. Okay, the first I want to show you something. See down here this this little box here on the transport bar, that is the MIDI in out display showing you incoming MIDI and outgoing MIDI. Now watch the input there. I'm going to press the stop key or the stop transport command on the Behringer keyboard. I'm going to press it once and watch the display. One, it said 1, 25, 127. Now I'll press it a second time. 1, 25, 0. Now again. 125127. Now again, 1250. So each of the buttons on the transport bar, I'll do it with the play now. See, 127127, 1270. Now the number at the end, either 0 or 127, is 0 is the is off, it's, it's the lowest MIDI control number. Okay, so that represents that button in its off toggle state. When I press the button a second time, it shows the end number as 127, which is the highest MIDI controller number. Okay, so each button on that transport on the Behringer controller keyboard is, when you press it, it's toggling between an on and off state. So any controller that you want to assign to a command in Logic, first plug your keyboard in and press the buttons that you want to assign and observe the activity in this display box here and check to see whether your buttons that you're going to assign toggle between two states. Okay, if they do, you'll need to assign both states to the command. If they don't, you only need to assign one click to the command that you want to assign that uh, MIDI button to. Okay, so let's open our key commands now. Alt K and all the transport commands are in global commands. So I'll start by assigning play. So I'll highlight play. Now we don't click learn by key label this time, that's for assigning keys on the QWERTY keyboard. We now click learn new assignment down here which assigns MIDI controllers. Okay, So I click with play highlighted, I click learn new assignment and I press the play button once. OK, now look, it's learned, and the end is 7F. It says BO, 1B, 7F, and 7F is the on state. Now, because my buttons are sending out two different toggled states on and off, I'm going to learn the off state for that button, also for play. All right, that's, So the play on state and the play button off state are then going to be both assigned to the play command. So the on state has been learned there. I now click learn new assignment again it's waiting for a MIDI message I press the play button a second time and look that ends in 0 0 which is the off state so both the on and off toggle states are now for the play button on that Behringer controller keyboard are now assigned to play okay let's do stop same thing I'm going to assign the on and off state so I highlight stop learn new assignment Press stop once, I've assigned the on state, learn new assignment again, press stop again, and it ends in the second uh, thing it learned, ends in double zero, so it's learned the off state, and now it's learned both the on and off state, and the stop button is now assigned to the stop command. Okay, let's do rewind next. Learn new assignment, press the rewind button once, it's learned the on state, learn new assignment, press it again, press the rewind button again it's now learned the off state that's been done forward select forward learn new assignment press the forward transport button on the Behringer once it's learned the on state click learn new assignment again 
press the forward button on the Behringer transport again it's now learned the off state and both those toggled states of the forward button on the Behringer transport are now assigned to the forward command all right we'll do pause learn new assignment press the pause button once that's the on state learned learn new assignment again press pause again now the off state is learned now we'll do record highlight record learn new assignment hit record once that's the off state learned it happened to be in the off state okay now I'll learn new assignment and learn the on state so I'll press it one more time and it's learned the on state it doesn't matter which way round they are it's just toggling between two states so as long as the on and off are both assigned to that command any time you press that button it will always activate that command okay okay that gives me two transport buttons left the cycle button so I'll search for cycle okay there it is cycle mode which if you remember is assigned by default to our C key I'll just press C look on the QWERTY keyboard that's toggling my cycle on off right okay so with cycle highlighted I click learn new assignment I'll press my cycle button on the transport of the Behringer controller keyboard that's the on state learned click learn new assignment again press the cycle button on the transport of the Behringer again now it's learned the off command that's cycle assigned now that leaves me one key on the Behringer which is that funny looking key with a sort of backward arrow uh, joining onto an upward vertical line which I will call go to or ever so I'm going to assign that to one particular command here I'll type in play to search for play commands and the one I'm looking for is this play from selection which is actually by default assigned to the key command shift and play okay so I've highlighted play from selection learn new assignment press that button once that's learned the off state learn new assignment press the button again now I've learned the on state okay so that's my transport buttons on the Behringer all assigned now to transport in logic and now if I close this uh, key commands with alt K uh, alt K come on doesn't it close it oh, obviously not you've got to close it manually all right here we go so I'll just show you some of those buttons working cycle on off now I'm pressing the Behringer now that's working play stop play, pause, play, rewind, bar, yeah, bar at a time, rewind, forward, bar at a time, um, I'll just back up a bit with the rewind button, hit record, yeah that's working, yeah, step forward with the forward button, now let's try play from selection, I'll select this region, press the play from selection button, or the button I've assigned to play from selection, and there you go, it's playing from selection. So there you go, that's all the transport buttons on that Behringer assigned. And uh, the beauty is you can assign any MIDI controllers, even MIDI keys, like you know, white or black keys on your keyboard can be assigned to commands. I'll just open that key commands one last time with Alt K, just to show you one last thing. Look, play, we've assigned that to, look here, see the assignment, we've assigned the two toggle states of the Behringer play button but look in the key command column play still has its QWERTY key command yeah let me just get rid of play so it shows all the global commands okay look record still has its key assignment on the QWERTY keyboard so does play so does pause so does stop so does rewind so is forward so assigning MIDI controllers to key commands doesn't override the QWERTY commands so now I've got both. I've got transport controls on my Behringer keyboard and I've got transport controls on the QWERTY keyboard. Pretty cool, huh? So I suggest you experiment with your keyboard. Um, if you make a mistake, all you have to do to delete uh, one of these learned assignments is simply highlight it and click delete and you get rid of it. Okay, let's move on.